Okay, so now that you've done your extracts, we're going to go ahead and actually do a purge now. So you do this in the data purge form. So here's all of our extracts from the previous video. If you want to purge data, you have to click on the show details button or whichever one that you're in the process of uh, deciding to clear out. So just hit the show details button and it'll open the extract details where you can choose to select items individually or you can just hit the check all button which means it will select all of the items in the extract uh, for, for purging. Just on a side note, if you do want to view the item you can just double click on it and it will open up uh, that particular item. So we're just going to go ahead and delete just a few of these, not all of them, and just hit OK. Turn your test mode on if you have that flag. Click down here again. Hit the checkbox on the purge data. You'll then be warned that you're going to purge data. So click OK. Hit accept. And you'll be warned again. Click no will cancel the purge. Clicking yes will process it. And that's the purge complete. Now we can, if we just hit reject, we'll see that it turns black, which means that it was successfully purged. If we click the show details button, it'll show us the items that have been purged. If you attempt to view the item, it'll tell you that the item has been purged and that you can't view it. So now we'll just show you checking them all. Just hit this button to check all of the items. Click OK. Turn your test mode off if you have that. Click on your purge data. Click OK. Accept. Click Yes. And all of the records have successfully been deleted. You can see here that it's turned black. If you go into it, and try to view one of the items, it'll tell you that it's been purged and that you can't view it. And that's how you perform a data purge. And that's it for this video.